Uh, let's start with that. Deep Marl, like you said, dive too far last night for Ashley Young. Which one? Well, which one is, um, as you said, he's, he's had a few in, in, in recent years, and, and most recently he had a couple he got booked against uh, Crystal Palace, where he kicks that uh, the defender's foot goes over, tries to win a penalty, then he gets a penalty which was outside the box, and that was a bit iffy. And yesterday was just the worst of the lot, which I, I thought the dives I've seen of Ashley Young, I, I won't see any worse, but yesterday he topped it. The guy hardly touched him. And he rolls over like he's been shot and uh, wins a penalty. Moyes was very critical after the Palace game. Um, and I wonder what he says. He, he, after the game, he, he was very um, very quiet. He said he, there was a talk. He went down. The penalty was given. Uh, I'm sure he'll have a word with him behind closed doors. Who do you hear this, though? Bonsi, you're manager of a football team. Yep. Right? I'm going to ask you questions. You're in the public eye. There's six million people watching. What do you think about CSK Moscow and the races chanting? What do I think about it? Um, I think that uh, the the UEFA will look into it and they'll have a then they'll make a decision. Yeah. That's what I'll say. What oh, do I think okay. about it? I ain't going there. If I go, yeah. I ain't telling my black yeah. players. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tell them to stuff it. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. going to Denmark. Yeah. Um, if I say to you, what do you think of diving as a manager in football? I said, well, I, my view was obscured from where I was sitting. <laughs> but if I'm talking about, so I'd say, well, what, if he dives again, he's out. I yeah. told you not to buy him. He's disgraceful. OK, so now take me inside the dressing room, Deep Martin. Is the manager saying the same thing? Are they really, did Fergie, and I'm not saying that they lied to the cameras, it's just a, a politician's game. Is, D, is, uh, is David Moyes and, and Alex Ferguson beforehand, he says, I'm going to have strong words with him? Mm. Are they having strong words with him? I think they, they will. If you, if you dive and win a penalty, somebody will say it's... Uh, people don't want to see it in England. It's different in, in, in Spain, in Germany. It's, it's, it's a different culture. In England, people don't want to see it. They don't accept it. People get booed for it. Uh, you remember the stick Suarez got. He cut it out of this game. And Ashley Young, I think, is worse than, than Suarez has, has ever been. And obviously, it's a re reputation of a football club. Mm -hmm. Man United shouldn't need to dive and cheat because it is blatant cheating to try to win a penalty when there's no contact. Mm -hmm. And it's the reputation of the player. And I would say to the players, listen, if, if you want to stay in the game for the next five or ten years, which is only 25, 26, if you want to stay in the game the next five or two years, you've got to cut it out. Because, first of all, um, he, he won't get the decisions anymore. Because if this was happen, if this happened in the Premier League, he would not have got a penalty. He only got it because the referee didn't know him. It's one of those situations where most, uh, they say don't they, most football fans here in England would want to see the English team go through. But unless you were a United supporter, you wanted the keeper to save that, didn't you? Just because it was such a blatant dive. Yeah, right. So, so, so I've got a couple of yeah. questions on that. Well, one's a statement. First of all, Suarez has done more than just dive, by the way, in terms of reputation in Liverpool. Mm. So I'm, let me just stand up. This is this is my thing about diving, because it happened with Drogba. He used to he used to go down easy, didn't he? And when he stopped, he became a better player. So I'm Ashley Cole. I'm on the edge of the box, yeah? I've got a defender a yard in front of me, Deepmore. I'm asking you as a footballer here. Have I got to be thinking at that stage right now have I got to be thinking, I'm going to go over? So therefore, am I not looking for the pass? Am I not looking how to bend the ball in? Am I not looking how to beat the player? Am I actually making the decision as I go into the box where I'm actually looking for his leg rather than to be uh -oh. a better player? I think it's him. I think he's done it all his, I think he's done it all, all his life, and this is why, why he's done it. It's very hard. Once it's in you, I think it's hard to cut out. But... Um, you know, I'm, I'm always defending players because uh, Gareth Bale got a lot of stick last year. Um, and you've got to be um, very careful saying if somebody had that because sometimes it's protecting yourself because if you anticipate a challenge and if the guy comes in, in where to clatter, you've got to jump because you've got to protect yourself. That's the first instinct. Mm. Now, yesterday, there's no, there's no protection. There's no nothing. It's a, it's a slight touch of the arm mm. and the guy rolls over. So uh, this is a completely different thing, but I just think it's in him. And regardless how much you speak to him, I think it'll be very hard because he's, he's done it for so long. I think it'll be very hard for him to cut out. But if he wants to stay in the game, at Man United or anywhere else, he's got to cut that out because he's gone too far uh, now. Surely anyone, he'll always have a place in the game. Some, someone will always hire him. Yeah. That, 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 that's, that's, that's the rule that we've worked on for years with bad footballers, isn't it? That if, if I don't sign him, someone else will yeah. sign him, and that someone could have a detrimental effect on my team, and therefore I might lose my job. That's what a manager or a chief scout might think. OK, but that's never been put to practice, so we don't know if it would work, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. And if it has been put to practice, it's worked brilliantly because we don't know about it, to be, to be straight. What gets me, Didi, and you can tell me this, um, I'm, not, I'm not saying... All the players are going to stand up in that changing room like a Roy Keane and go and grab him round the neck and tell him not to die. But 
surely in each change room, in each dressing room, at some point, someone between coming out of the shower, getting dressed, saying goodbye to the team and then walking out to his Bentley will have to say something to him. Surely someone would. Did you ever say anything to any, any of your teammates well, and any of your teams? Well, we, we, we never Any really had a light. Yeah, we never, Sorry, we never really had anyone <laughs> that light. you needed to speak to. There, there might be one, but then again, I don't think it's the player's responsibility. It's the manager's responsibility. Okay. It's the club's responsibility. And at the same time, if you won the game yesterday, mm. in a way, as a player, you think, well, you know, yes, it was wrong, but we won the game We're in the last 16. Now, as it, as it happens, there's still a chance United won't go through. So as a player, obviously, you're selfish. You want to achieve much. You don't want to achieve it through cheating. I think it's for the manager to tell him um, because, obviously, he reflects badly on the, on the whole football club, on the yeah, whole team. Do managers not say if there's a leg out there, go over on it? Well, if, if, if you go down, if there's contact, a, a manager won't stop you going down. Yeah. But if there's no contact, they will say to you, Listen, yeah, but, it's one, but it's one step removed, isn't it? It's like, well, he feels a touch and he goes down like a sack of spuds. Yeah, well, there was, there was hardly a touch. If a leg comes out and you anticipate where the leg's going to go, you jump, then it's down to the referee to judge whether yeah. this was a foul or not. I but, agree. Uh, no, I agree. Despicable. But what I'm saying is, if I, if I move myself outside of this moral view that we all have here and just say, if a manager's saying, hmm. go down if you get touched. Now, I've loads of stories we've had on air of players yeah. being yeah. shouted well, at well, for staying on their feet. Yeah, well... I don't think you can blame a manager. They're in the job. If they lose three games, they're out of the job. So if there's contact, yeah. even if they go down easily, get a penalty, win the game, they'll take it. What he's done against Crystal Palace, where he kicked the, the defender's leg, who's, yeah. uh, uh, in fact, very lucky not to get injured, because if, if that foot was planted, he could have done serious damage to his, to his tibia, fibia, or his knee. And what he's done yesterday is just simply out of order. It's blatant cheating. There's no contact whatsoever. He made contact in the Crystal Palace mm -hmm. case and yesterday there was hardly or no contact. So uh, it's different and um, you know, as I said, he's got to cut it out because on top of that, obviously he's not playing well. You said he's always getting the club. Um, you know, his performance mm -hmm. with the diving, uh, I think if he carries on like he did, it, it makes it very hard for him. You can do a lot worse than diving, as we know, and you're still going to get a club and you're still going to get 20 grand a week minimum. You're still going to get 30 grand Absolutely. a week min minimum after serving a jail sentence. Wouldn't it be lovely if if a manager came in at any club, it could be any club, uh, and and one of the things he said at his opening speech was that there will be no diving here. This will be a no diving zone. And what it means, the club could have put some fantastic T-shirts printed with the X going through a guy diving, clearly wearing football studs. They get a lot of publicity. They get publicity worldwide. It could be in the second division. But the first manager to come in and say, we will not tolerate Bunty, Bunty, diving tonight. We'll have him as a guest. Bunty, the problem there is... If he when if you interviewed Ashley Young after the game yesterday, yeah. when he came off the field, I think there's half a chance he said, "Yeah, I think I was fouled here." Mm. In his head, he, he was thought it was coming. Yeah, because he was touched. Yeah. He thought he thought it was a foul. The 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 the, the FA, UA for FIFA, they've got to come together. Um, it's not really an issue in England. It's a it's a big issue in Spain. They've got to start banning people. If you don't start banning people. You won't cut diving out. So with the with the Gareth Bale stuff, it was all slightly different because. But Gareth Bale always had a fantastic defence. He always had the momentum defence. Do you remember, Colin? Mm. In all fairness, he always had the momentum defence. He's running mm. flat out. We know he's mm. a fast one. But you see Ashley Young now. A second before he goes over, he stops and changes his position. Mm. So there's no momentum. There's no mm. speed. Mm. It's a blatant. And, and you're absolutely right. It's a blatant. It's a blatant mm. cheat. But it's one that he's been taught since he was probably a seven-year-old. Mm. Embarrassing. Oh my days. Why does he not fall when he sits? Like an assist?